Hey everybody, I'm going to be doing another matchstick video here. This time I'm going to be doing this wall uh, and maybe something over here, see how that works out with the construction of this building here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this side of the wall. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this section off here, this section off, and I'm going to have to strip this cardboard down so I can lay a extension off the floor so I can do another double panel like these walls over here off of this. Alright, I cut these down. It's kind of weird looking without those wings on there. Kind of carved this back. I, have, I, I really don't remember why these were on here in the first place. I think there was a video when I made it so I may go back and look but I'm not sure. And then this section I had to replace the matches here so I'll have to go back in and paint that. Uh, yeah, just... Okay, so I'm starting on the wall here. Get, get, get back down there, sir. I've got the uh, the sport here, and I'm starting the wall. I, uh, I left a gap right here because I'm going to go ahead and just make this the edge of the wall. Like, this, this is going to be it. Uh, it's going to be this wide. Instead of, like, in the, the original photo, the wall would have come out to here, and then also over here and then jet back uh, but I'm gonna make this a little bit more squared off Eesh. punching things so I'm gonna leave the gap here anyway uh, what I'm getting at is I need a door for the bedroom up here and I'm wanting it uh, we got the, these two doors are in the center and I want to offset this one so it's it's you know uh, a little bit different and I think I want to put it on this side so it's kind, of, it's kind of like if they came through, they're going to fall through a hole, so, you know. Uh, I have a surplus of doors I've built here, um, and none of them, in my opinion, are going to work for this room because they are all a, uh, a exterior door kind of style. But this is where it's going to be, possibly. I don't want to get it too close to that wall, maybe a little bit over. And uh, so I'm going to have to build a door. Uh, the funny thing is, though, is, like, my bedroom has an exterior door on it so yeah I don't know I'll have to find a way to build something to look more like an interior door so I've got the door built I've painted it uh, with some greens and yellows to kind of match the room the rug and the walls are green you know plus it also makes it look kind of moldy uh, once I got some paint on I took uh, just water and kind of rubbed it down with a brush to kind of give it to, to pull the paint away and kind of make it worn because it is next to a big gaping hole in the wall the back side kinda has some some stuff to it I can put a door uh, pull on it, it's just a wood slab and uh, some slats which kinda give it um, a strength so it's not bowing and I kinda like the look like an old wood door this is gonna actually be open a little bit and that's why I've kinda painted it like you're not gonna be able to really see the back of the door but you can you would definitely notice uh, the white paper and unpainted so that helped mask that helps mask that so I built up this back wall here and got a little hole in it pretty cool I also painted the back black uh, because I don't know what the rest of the house if I'm gonna have windows so that you can see so I want this to be black now before I, you know can't reach it to paint it so I've got this wall attached on now I kind of figured out how I wanted this done up missing some slats trying not to poke it too much it's kind of delicate <clears throat> I still need to put the roof on hopefully that'll that'll help I'll have a uh, some across here what have you okay this wall is holding up a lot better than I thought it would which is awesome. I also added in some wallpaper. It's uh, not exactly the same as this. Um, but I figured this is going to be uh, more... Uh, it's got more weather smacking on it and crap. So it's going to be a lot, uh, a lot more messed up. It's got some dirt and mud on it. I've got the door back on here. I cut it down uh, uh, about a match, I guess shorter than the wall and I uh, got a lot of glue spackled on there as well as over here this wall was kind of wobbly uh, 
I never glued it to this wall, so hopefully that adds some stability. Um, yeah, this glue is really, this really makes it structurally sound. Uh, this Tight Bond 2 Premium Wood Glue, it is amazing. Like, I only have two points on this wall here, and I'm giving this a pretty fairly tough tug, and that's holding it together pretty well for something that's, you know, connected here, here, and then just there, and that's, it's not exactly a big service to be holding on to. And then, of course, the, the door's holding onto the wall, and that door was pretty tough to, to get off there without, you know, damaging anything, so, uh, I, I really recommend this tight bond premium glue. So, I am starting work on the roof here. I got the room looking pretty awesome. All this jazz. And uh, yeah, I guess it's going to be the end of the video. Uh, if you like this, subscribe. Hopefully I'll be working on it, getting it done pretty soon. Uh, you should go and follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description. I upload photos as I go, so you don't have to sit around and wait on my videos to come up. I'll also be putting up uh, other things like uh, drawings and stuff I do. So thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.